Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're playing Stalker: Shadow of Chernobyl. Uh, no idea what this game is about, but uh, I will give you guys a brief aside, which is that, uh, like I mentioned previously, I actually ordered a Legion Go, and it did arrive, and I am uh, enjoying it. And part of the reason I got it is I thought uh, I could use it for some PS3 and Xbox 360 emulation, which truly, you know, when I started this series like eight years ago, the idea of emulating any of those systems is like well beyond. Uh, and I never thought we'd really see the day on the channel. Um, for those of you who follow the channel, I, I do love playing like authentic old gaming systems. But the longer I've been at this, the more I've realized like when it comes to recording old like NES or N64 or PS1, it's just so much simpler for recording purposes to just emulate it and have it all just be an OBS and stuff. And uh, when I, I mean, I was looking at the Legion Go anyway. And then when I saw it could emulate PS3 and Xbox 360, I got super excited. And so I tried to record a video playing Assassin's Creed 2, the Xbox 360 version, and it was a bit of a shit show. Uh, long story short, over two days I attempted so many different things, recorded a lot of it, and not 100% sure what I'm going to do, if I will just keep going and re release the episode when it finally gets done or whatnot. I think I will because it's fun to see the journey, but... Um, yeah, long story short, Xbox 360 uh, emulation is a little dodgy, and there were a lot of crashes, and uh, yeah, anyway, so so today, so as a, as a substitute, a quick sub in, we have Stalker Shadow Shadow, Shadow of Chernobyl. Um, now, this is a game I know absolutely nothing about, so we'll go ahead and then we'll just jump in here, and we'll see what it is. I think it's a first-person shooter, I want to say. Who the hell knows, though? I mean, any game could be anything these days. It is too hard to predict these things, but I'm going to go... I'm guessing first-person shooter. Um, the Stalker series has had a number of games. Um, I think they're all generally something around Chernobyl or something. It's sort of like an Eastern European war game, which, you know, nowadays is obviously a way touchier subject with... Uh, you know, the, the invasion of Ukraine and all that uh, nonsense. So we can only we can only hope for a speedy defeat of Russia in these dark times, guys. So I don't know I, there. I, I won't like linger on it. Not that I don't care, but uh, I I'm just a random YouTuber. My opinion on this doesn't matter. So I don't know. Anyway. Um, there's zombies. This is your typical wartime zombie transportation system. I think they were transporting a bunch of dead corpses, got hit by lightning. Those zombies are all going to develop sentience and personality, Johnny Five style. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what's about to happen here. We are about to take control of our first zombie. Or we'll just be a random dude. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Sort of my credo in life. Jay. <laughs> and then below is a quote. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, so this guy's upset that the truck carrying those precious dead bodies was destroyed. I value cargo. Checking them out. Can we skip this? Oh, we can. All right. Find so Strelock. I saved you. And I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do right. some jobs for me, and we're even. Besides, he wants me to work for him? Story is locked. Got amnesia? Typical... I don't give a typical thing? In games and movies and all that? If you want to kill him, well, you must have your... What are you standing there for? Can you... The choice Ooh. Yours. Oh, this is cool. Sort of like Fallout 3 style dialogue. The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with all the rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker. Give you a mission. Just give me the mission. Uh, I want you to find a stalker named Nimble. He was carrying some important information. Okay. That's all for now. Bring me the flash drive, and we'll consider the fact that you partially paid me for saving you. All right. Let's do it. Okay, so so a little more of like a Fallout style game. I think we just skipped the tutorial, by the way. By uh, he offered to brainwash us. I guess his game speak for tutorial. Um, jumps will help you climb. Let's zoom in and check this guy out. 
<laughs> He's staring right at us. That was a little awkward. Uh, control to crouch. Sometimes you'll need to run faster than usual. Press X while running. Okay, so X lets you run. I appreciate a game that gives you the tutorial. Like, uh, as you're playing. Um, wait, do I have a gun? I probably need a gun, don't I, guys? Use binoculars and then press... 5 to select them. Okay. I mean, I figured that part out on my own. Guns, guns. Can I just take one of your guns? Boss here wanted to see you, but that doesn't make you a welcome guest. All right, anyone? Anyone else? So if you hold shift, you walk slowly. By helping other characters. Oh, I didn't even catch that. All right, I don't have a gun, but whatever. Let's just wing it and see what happens. We are kind of close to the beginning of the game, so if I really screwed up, we'll, uh, we'll uh, just, you know, figure it out. And actually, I should follow the arrow on my map. I'm, like, running out of town here. But we're supposed to go over this way. Right over here. Hello. Um, I need to see Nimble. Um, Nimble got a raw deal. His group was attacked by some bandits a little ways from here. All I could do was send me an SOS. Um, I'll bop you one. What's the use? It's not that simple. Blah, blah, blah. There's no chance that you could do it on my own. I got the guts. <laughs> I got the guts, but I won't go or I'll try. All right, I think we just got weapons. Oh, yeah. All right, well, now, now that I got a gun. Hey, man, I got a gun. Do you have a gun? I've got a gun. Sweet. I love aiming right at your eyeball with my finger on the hairpin trigger. It's really awesome. Don't worry. Nobody's going to shoot you, but if you die, it's your own fault. All right, off to go kill bandits or... Frankly, it could be anyone. I really wasn't paying that much attention. They gave me a gun. They pointed me in a direction. That's good enough for me. All right, so there's shoot. There's reload. I like a game that respects the basically common first-person shooter tropes. You know, like aim down sight is right-click on the mouse and stuff like that. And, you know, we got like a very obvious radar here. It's like you don't have to spend too much time. Am I supposed to kill this guy or talk to him? Ah, Let me fill you in. Ah. Some stalkers won't want to talk if you stick a weapon in their face. To hide your weapon, select six. What did I just do? I think I threw something. Uh, Wolf has already sent word of you. Got any questions? Um, seven or eight people, two by the gate, two more. I'm liking this that we're hopping right into it, man. Men. Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to Kill the attack. bandits at the Try car park. Yes! Let's go, dudes. I'm so I'm so ready for this. Where's my gun? Yeah. All right, man. Let's go. It really does feel like Fallout. So I mean, Shadow of Chernobyl. I mean, Chernobyl was a nuclear disaster. Does this mean we are kind of are in a uh, Fallout-style world? Because I'd be down with that. All right, we're entering the bandit territory. This this so feels Fallout. To me, so it feels like Fallout. Oh, Banditos! Oh, he effing dodged. Boom! Headshot, punk. He's not dying. Two headshots. Can we loot the body? Oh, we totally can. Take all. I don't know what you got, punk, but it's mine now. Oh, Jesus shooting at me. Oh. My god. Reveal yourself. Is that my guy that died? Okay, hold on. We gotta loot the bodies. Friend and foe alike. Oh, that's one of my guys. Yeah, it was totally one of my guys. All right, sorry, buddy, but you don't need this anymore. He's 
Jeez, where is everybody? These are some sneaky bandits. I want to get uh, some kind of like auto shotgun or something. Something powerful. Okay, where'd that guy go? Where are you, punk? Jesus. I think I'm about to die, actually. Oh my god. Oh, and it's just straight up game over. Spacebar to exit to the main menu. Okay, let's go back into the last save here. I'm, d I'm d kind of digging it, actually. Like, fast-paced Fallout style. You know what we need is, like, uh, the Pip-Boy. So that we can go in and do, like, those, like, aimed shots and, like, aim for... I always aim for, like, faces and genitals. That's how you do it. And, uh, just, like, massacre people with, like, the aimed shots. But, uh, okay. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you can save whenever you want, so we'll definitely make sure to take advantage of that. I'll save before I go into the bandits. Uh, you know, kingdom again. Also, I definitely want to get, like, some sort of, like, uh, oops. Um, I definitely want to get some sort of, like, either, like, an M16 rifle or a shotgun, because I think it would be more effective than a bloody pistol. But of course, they gotta give you something to aspire to. In a game like this, you aspire to better guns. So, alright, dude. What up? Uh, tell me about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I got my gun. I wonder if you get, like, a bazooka or, like, an RPG or something ridiculous. I feel like RPGs are kind of weapon you like. It's like, you know, it was popularized in Duke Nukem 3D. Um, but I mean, like, I'll be honest, I don't really understand the difference between like a bazooka, a rocket launcher, and a rocket propelled grenade. Isn't a rocket propelled grenade a rocket? At that point, isn't it just a rocket? So I don't really know what an RPG is. Other than that, it was in Duke Nukem uh, 3D. So. Men, Wolf here sent us some support right. along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. Hey, my gun. Time to go on and be heroes, boys. Alright. Can save. Oh, there's a guy right in there. Oh, did I just headshot him? Sounded like it. Uh, we'll just save. Oh, uh, we'll call this game one. Here we go. All right. The problem I find is that my gun is getting in the way of my aiming. When I aim down sights, I can't see over the bloody gun. Like, I can't tell if any of those hit the guy. Okay, that guy clearly went down. Okay, anyone else? Ooh, there's a shotgun. Oh my god, I shouldn't be looting the body right now, probably. Let's take his gun too. Take his bullets, okay. Okay, I'm like severely injured. I'm just gonna hide, I'm gonna crouch into this trash can for a second. Uh, how do I bring up my inventory? Okay, I for inventory. Um... Oh, Jesus. Where are those bullets coming from? Inventory. Do I have no, like, med packs or anything? I have a knife. That. Oh, here we go. Alright, I am so dead though. Like one hit and I'm dead. Oh! Awkward. He doesn't notice me though. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Yeah, dog. You get punk. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, young man. Alright, let's uh save this as game two. Get 
gonna go ahead and reload. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like I had only fired one shell, so it only reloaded like one bullet, not both. Okay, I've killed. I've personally killed three, and I know there was only like supposed to be like eight or so. This looks like one of my guys. All right, take all his stuff. I think he might have a med pack. Let me just check this real quick. What is this? All-purpose medical pack. Use. All right, we just healed up some. Feeling good. I don't know why that guy didn't use a med pack, but he definitely should. You know what I really like about this game is all the buttons are intuitive. So far, I haven't had to look up a single button. It's like I for inventory. Right-click on something and select use. Like it's, it's like very obvious. There is something to be said about having like good intuitive controls like truthfully sounds dumb but i've played so many games that don't you know and uh i feel like every time i play a game with bad controls and i can't figure stuff out there's a lot of people in the comments who are like blaming me for it and they're like man look up the controls pay attention to the tutorial and i mean like yeah you're right you're you're not wrong but i also have to say you know it's not entirely my fault in that you know, game designers sometimes come up with bad control schemes. Or not even bad, but just not intuitive. Boom. Yeah, bitch. Take all. Like, this is just so intuitive. It's, it's like making me realize, like, hey, maybe it wasn't my fault all those times that it was, like, so hard to figure out what the hell button to press. I mean, the older the game, the more obscure the buttons become. And, you know, like a ZX Spectrum game... I don't know if you guys remember some of the ZX Spectrum games I've played on my channel, but some of them are like so... The controls are like, they make no sense. It's like rather than using the arrow keys, the keys are like W, X, V, and C, you know, to like move. And those aren't even in a WASD con configuration. It's like they're horizontal, but only three of the buttons are together and the other is like way on the other side of the keyboard. Like it's like really, really bad controls. Anybody alive? Um, okay. Okay, let's see. So I might actually have to look up a control here. How do we run? Okay, here's what we want. We want to figure out how to get in to this room. Jump. Okay, how do we get in here? Oh, in here? Okay, and in here. Oh, there he is. Hello. You, brother. Saved you, buddy. Thank you enough. You're welcome. Um, thanks, brother. You did a great service. I didn't even know how to thank you. Listen, I need that flash drive. Um, so he gave it to me. Those morons can't even do a proper search. Where did you keep it anyway? <laughs> I didn't keep it down there, so don't worry. He was talking about his butthole. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I need a job. There is something. Find the perfected suit. Okay. When I was in captivity, I heard the bandits talking about their secret stash where they kept the habar. Heard that they hid it in a cool coat in there. Next day, some monster got his eye on the stash. Whatever, man. Um... Okay. Now I have to go find the perfect suit. Anything up here? Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. I just dropped... Wait, there did actually seem like maybe there was a box in the corner. Take it back. We duck over here. Yeah, like what's that box in the corner? Let us see. Oh, there's a stash, but there's nothing in it. <laughs> so it's kind of a letdown. Oh my god, I, I jumped down and landed in fire. Not very good at this whole being a rebel thing. All right. Um, let's go. I forget what we're doing. We're, we're hunting for bandit pants or something. The perfect set of pants. The perfect coat. 
the really awesome sweater. Uh, <laughs> the immaculate hoodie. Uh, yeah, so we're, I don't know. We're going to, we're going to hunt bandits. Oh, you have a stamina bar on the left, too. There's like a little purple bar. It's getting, or is it a stamina bar? I don't know. It's kind of being used up as I run. We just ran past some dogs. Your helicopter. Oh, there it is, too. I wonder if you can interact with that and or if it's going to hunt me. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see anything. Okay, hopefully it doesn't attack me. Hey, what is that? A, a boar? Ah, oh, jeez, it's really hard to aim. I think I got it. Boar's hoof. We'll take it. Alright, we're, we're now officially a hunter. I mean, we've hunted man, but now we've gone back to animal. We're doing it in the reverse order of most, uh... Most sort of psychopaths who start by hunting animals and eventually move on to humans. Hello! Oh, hi. Uh, did you manage? The situation has become clear. Where's the flash drive with the info? Here it is! Um, cool, so we got a mission. Listen, Markova, I've done, done some thinking. thinking. Blah, 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 blah. Once you have the briefcase, bring it here. Alright. I didn't realize I was coming back to this guy. I thought I was doing that stash thing, but... Whatever, let's do another mission or two here. I don't know how long we'll play this, obviously, for today. Um, but even just a couple missions, I mean, it also sort of feels a bit like Red Dead Redemption. Uh, but obviously, the hell's happening here? Am I getting radiated? Um, it feels very much like Fallout. But uh, with the random animals and stuff walking around, it feels a little bit like uh, Red Dead Redemption. Alright, here's another mission here. Oh, there's like electricity. Oh, God. Oh, God. Should I be just running through this? I guess not. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of stupid, actually. Of me, not, not of the game. That was... Pro tip, when when the ground is pulsating with violent electricity, maybe I guess don't run. I guess don't run full steam into it. It's a lesson I've learned. Um, okay, so the guy to save, he was like right, right over here. Hello. Oh, there's someone else we gotta kill. Then you'll talk to me. We had a med pack too. Wolf, factory cleared. Returning to starting positions. All right, hello. You, brother, I could never thank you enough. This первая пушка спрячь. Okay, so he gives me the flash drive, and then find the perfected suit. Okay. So now, how do I get to my quests? Let's see. Okay, I just. Just P here, get the information to scout. Okay, we also have this one here. Find the perfected suit. Bring the customer what's been promised. Okay. Came into the den. So can I do this one? Don't know how I'll just select one of these. I'm going to try and do this one, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to run for it. wonder if later on you get, like, a vehicle or something, because that could make a difference. Or maybe you get to fly around in helicopters. That could be kind of cool. Okay, so there are radiation zones. I've noticed that. It's like bubbling air, it looks like. So kind of avoid that, I suppose. It's a key element of the game. Not just wander into... Wildly radiated zones. 
anything cool in here? Just a random hut. Yeah, just a random abandoned hut. I should reload my gun. Reloading while running full speed. Now that's a skill, man. Okay, still directing me back to this. So one thing I guess I don't know how to do is like set waypoints or whatever on my uh, my map. Okay, I can't run because I'm too tired. Oh, the purple bar is how much noise you're making. Oh, that's interesting. So there's noise mechanics. Pretty cool. Okay. Oh, look at all these like little side missions you can take. Find the jellyfish artifact. You know what? Just give me a whole bunch of things to do and I'll just kind of purging mutants. Okay, this 100% is just Fallout. <laughs> It's basically just Fallout well, set in, like, I don't know, the Ukraine or something like that. Uh, all right, save the game. Okay, we'll do one more mission here. We'll see how far we get. But I got a pretty good idea of what this game is, and I dig it. Um, but, okay, so here's all the different... What if I do M for map? Okay. And then tasks... Meet the journeyman. So does that mean that this is the next, like, thing on my, uh... Oh, I made it go away. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I think that means it's a waypoint. Meet the journeyman. Okay, so let's give this a shot then. A shot. Little gun humor there for you guys. Little, little apocalypse humor. It's pretty barren. You know what? It is a very lovely apocalypse. If this is like a nuclear wasteland or something like that, it's got green trees, lush grass. It's, uh, you know, nice serene nature scenes. Not gonna kill. Oh my god, there's a bunch of dogs or wolves attacking this boar. Oh, another attacking me. Jesus, these dogs are actually pretty relentless. There we go. All right, I've killed most of your pack. You better flee. What is this? Resistance of mutant dogs. Hmm. Mutant dog parts. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, jeez, I'm getting radiated. Okay. So this, okay, I got the marked one. Now what? Let me go over here. What's this? Like a little thing on the radar. Oh, I think I got it. I will say I wish the gun play in this was a little better. Feels just a little sort of like old school. Um, it's hard to describe, but it's just like not as satisfying or as like refined as some of the more modern top shooters are. Come here, doggy. Oh, he's limping. Oh, I feel bad now. I'm a monster. Mutant or no, no dog should die like that. I've crippled the dog. He's going to starve to death. I... Truly have made myself feel bad. Um, oh, barbed wire there. Okay. See red on the radar. Oh, bandits. Banditos. Oh! <laughs> <coughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Loading a game. Yes, yes. Go ahead and load that last game. Those banditos look like they had good guns. I kind of want them. Um, okay, they were over this way. I think. We're going to get those guns. It's my mission now in life, to get a bandit's gun. And avoid the pulsing radioactive 
Wasteland. I guy has tons of stamina, actually. He can... He's like a marathoner. He's just, like, hoofing it across, like, wide open country full of mutant dogs. He doesn't care. He's like... F no, man. I don't give a shit. I'll run through this countryside. Dog or no? Get out of here, dog. Wish I had a melee attack. Oh my god. Yeah, see, there's something with the aiming. It's like, it's not very good. I refuse to accept responsibility for this poor gameplay. There you go. Yeah, you better run. Get out of here. Right, let's go ahead and use that med pack. Okay, so there's somebody I gotta loot over here. And then we don't know... I say we as if you guys are in on this. Then I don't know what to do next. What is this thing? A leather jacket. Oops. No, I do want that. Um, maybe I could wear better armor? Oh god, I'm getting radiated. Uh, let's see. Diary, contacts, ranking, statistics. Alright, well, let's just, uh, let's try... We're just gonna try killing these random bandits. And maybe I'll see what the, the, the book has to say about this game. What is this white dog? Leave me alone, dog. I have no quarrel with you, random mutant dog. There's radiation everywhere. I wonder if you can get a rad suit later on or something. Okay, I'm gonna try and go in quiet. Real quiet, guys. He's the guy. If you're coming. Oh, is he looking right at us? Okay, I'm just going to stay ducked and hopefully he won't see us. <laughs> He's like looking right at us. Oh, there's another guy right there. Okay. Well, first, step one is to save the game. Yeah. Okay, step two. Oh, he's looking right at us too. Okay, this is very awkward. I think my attempt to... Oh, there's a third guy. Attempt to sneak up on these guys has failed. I'm gonna try another tactic, which is to drop down behind them. There's no way that they, absolutely no way that they know I'm doing this. He's still looking right at me. Or is he? I don't know. Wish you had a, like, knife attack where you could, like, stab someone in the back because I would do it to this guy. Oh, God. How did they see me? Okay, one more time. It might be impossible. I might be like way too low level, but I figure like one a double barrel shotgun to the back of your head has got to it's got to do some damage. So let's see. Let's see if we can get this to work. I am going to get into this random weird bandit base. all about obscuring the vision for the last possible second. Well, he was standing there oh yeah, bitch! I did it. Okay, now I need to try and loot the body. There we go. Oh god. I'm gonna stay in here for a second. Oh shoot. Okay, run! I'm running! See, my theory about a double barrel shotgun to the back of the head, not as crazy as it seems right now, is it? Okay, they're like, ah, he went up a hill, he got away. Now, sawed off, sawed off. But that guy didn't have any guns? He had some bread. Some delicious homemade bread. I have like nine pistols, what the heck? By saving. Let's uh, save scum our way through this part here. I can't believe he didn't have a gun. I was expecting some kind of awesome M16 style weapon. Oh, they're they're onto me. Oh, 
Okay. Gonna take this real nice and slow. Be real cheap about this. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Oh, I'm like sliding down the hill too. Okay, hold on. I, I'm convinced they have guns in there. <laughs> they can't all have no guns. Maybe the gun flew out of his hand. I have an idea. Maybe if I run away. Does the AI know if you've like changed locations? Like if I now... Last time they saw me, I was up that hill. If I sneak around behind them, maybe they won't know. Or notice. Oh, yeah, they're like looking for me. Oh, that's cool. I mean, this would be a perfect time to use binoculars. If I can figure out how to select them. I have a grenade? I don't know how to get to my binoculars. Mystery. We'll just aim down sights if we want to try and look far. They're all like in that pipe right where I was. Okay. One thing that's annoying is you can't... But every time I try and strafe, he stops running. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely an older style game. Oh, they're like both... Oh, I see them. I'm going to try and get around them this way. I think maybe there is a gun there and they might be protecting it. Try this. Save our game. Ching. Ching. Now we can try some things out and see what happens. Oh, I got him. Oh god, there's like five of them. Oh man. I actually got one guy. I feel like you're definitely not supposed to do this, but I'm having too much fun trying to kill these high level guys. They're not they're not even necessarily high level, they just have good guns. I'm trying to kill them with like a you know, a, a vintage like Remington. The guys like walking over here too. Get him. He doesn't even notice. A comedy bit. Oh, the, the gun. Okay. Alright, well, we got a gun. Oh my god, yeah. Okay. I think we have an AK, which is a cl cl a clinish. Oh my god, what? I know how to say I know how to say it, but I can't say it. Kalashnikov? Is that correct? No, that that sounds incorrect. Doesn't matter. All right. Oh my god, they're all right there. <laughs> they're like, don't turn around. He doesn't know that you've heard him. That he's been hurt, that you've been hurt by the bullets, he will stop. Oh god. Oh god. I was like, ice their whole team, basically. Gonna keep safe scumming. That's how we do this part. Alright. This pistol really does feel ineffectual. It feels like hot garbage. Okay, I think I've killed everyone, but just for... 
Just for uh, safety, I'm gonna pop that med pack there. Take all. Take all. Take that extra gun. Take that gun. Take all. All right. Yes. Mmm. We just took out a whole. I don't know what that was. Bandits. Good guys. I don't know who it was. We killed them all. Where was this guy's gun? Oh, I did pick it up. I did. I was able to get it. Anyone else? Man, we just like rocked like a thousand dead bodies. Wait, I killed guys up here too. Loot their bodies. Yes. Oh, that guy's still alive. Were we not supposed to kill these guys? Alright, well, whatever. Give me your stuff. Technically not allowed to steal from you while you're still writhing around in pain, so just murder you in cold blood. Alright, we got some stuff. I'm feeling good. All this stuff. Ooh, bread. Tins and stuff. I don't know, whatever. Grab it all. Take it all. All right. Well, we just we just got decked out. We got to go a little farther in this game, but uh, yeah, I like that you can just do that. I feel like we probably weren't 100% ready to kill those guys, but we did it anyway, and it's something satisfying about you know getting them. I'm happy. I'm happy with how that all turned out. Hopefully, there's some bandits over here. Oh wait, this is where we were. Okay, let's uh Is there any way I, I really would like to um set a waypoint? I just don't know how. That's the one thing actually that we really can't do. <laughs> Meet the journeyman, traverse the railroad embankment. Or I don't know. What's this one down here? Steal the military's documents. Let's do it. Okay, this that did add a waypoint. So, I'm just going to assume that... Stupid radiation. Oh, actually, we were supposed to go through this little uh, junction point. We were to do this next mission, so... Now, this gun I've got seems awesome, but my concern is I don't have a ton of bullets. Like, 80 shots. So... Get my uh, stamina build back up. Looks like he had a rough time and needs help. He came back with some type it's of building up much slower than I. He says he won't last long. Thought, All right, he let's just, just run. Something about Strelik. You got to go see him right now. Here are his coordinates. All right, I will see him and possibly kill him. I got a Kalashnikov. I don't know where the A in AK comes from. An automatic Kalashnikov? Is that? Is that what it is? I don't know. No, AK 47's been around basically since, like, Vietnam. Oh, hello. What's up, dude? Give me a med kit. Here you are. Could also kill you, but I decided not to. Um, alright. He gave me some info. Learned something. I learned something. Is that a bad guy? Hard to tell. Let's go talk to him. Hey, buddy. Give me everything you got. He's a loner. All right. Um, the random guy. Okay, forget it. Don't want to read all that nonsense. Oh, there's my binoculars. Yeah, how do I get to my gun? A little hard. I'm using the mouse scroll. There we go. And it's a little it takes a little while to get to the actual weapon or whatever that you want. All right, off they go. All right, you know what? That's fine. I'd rather not kill the dogs if I don't have to. All right, we just need one more good firefight to end on. Guys look neutral, we'll let them be. Guy looks like a bandit. 
they've put all the bandits in like black leather jackets so makes it a little easy here let's save our game just in case we can't screw it up it'll be our last firefight of the day anything cool in the back of this trunk nothing I'm going to just sneak on through here. There was a dude. I don't think I survived that. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> like the blood. Oh, he, d he died. He died. We got him. Actually, I don't know if I have a Kalashnikov. Oh, maybe I do. I don't know. I was going to say it looked a little like an UMP. Oh, no, wait. There it is. So he had a, a Viper. That's like a UMP-5, isn't it? And then we have the AK. The AKM-74. Yeah, it's an AK-47. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it is an AKM-74 or whatever. Um, that was a rather pathetic firefight. Let me just see if we can do a little better. Move to the next level. Oh, there we go. There's actual levels. Well, that's kind of interesting. The plot thickens. Okay, there's got to be some guys to fight. I think I'm just going to pick a fight with the next guys I see. Which are these guys? There we go. Oh, man, this gun is just too good. <laughs> we just mowed them all down. We're I think those actually were bad guys. That's good. It's cool that we were actually able to kill them. I think we have to like start selling our stuff because we have like way too much in our inventory. Oh my god, look at all the pistols we have. That's crazy. Um, anyway, we, you know, we could go on and on here, but uh, actually, I do have to. Uh... God, what is this? I was about to say, I do have to get going, but you know what? If there's banditos to fight. Maybe not even banditos. Maybe these guys are supposed to be good guys, but frankly, I've gone mad with power. I no longer can differentiate friend from foe. I just see targets. The guy's tired. He needs to recover some of his health. Somebody's shooting at me. You want to challenge me, buddy? Oh, we took him down. Look at that hind helicopter. That's a cool looking helicopter. Anyway, um, this is one of the games of the book. A thousand video games just play before you die. I, you know, a hundred percent. This, this reminds me of like Fallout. It's sort of like, it is a first person shooter, but it has more of that like RPG element to it. Um, okay. I don't know if we were supposed to kill those bandits or I just killed good guys, whatever. I don't know. I like that you can also just totally turn on people who are supposed to be your allies. It's very Fallout like that, where you can like make decisions and stuff. So yeah, uh, I didn't know what to expect coming into this game. I thought it might be just maybe a more standard Call of Duty, Modern Warfare kind of game, but it's like it kind of is, but it's got that Fallout uh, freedom to it, which is really cool. Hey, look at this. We're walking on a hind. There you go. This is how we'll end the video. Um, so yeah, I had fun with this. I would definitely play it again. And if you are a fan of Fallout 3, I feel like this is definitely going to appeal to you. But uh, what do you guys think? Uh, Stalker here. Is it a game you must play before you die? Sound off in the comments down below. Argue. Figure it out. Let me know your conclusions. But guys, I hope whatever you think of the game here today, you had some fun. I hope it was fun watching me raid that military camp. If it was... Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I just killed a clearly a good guy. Oh, I'm too heavily loaded to continue. Well, this is a good time to sign off. Um, so you do have encumbrance in this. Um, but guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, subscribe, like the video, blah, blah, blah. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace.